now that we have an overview of Microsoft Viva, let's dive deeper inside each one of those modules and learn what they do, and we'll start with Viva Insights. Viva Insights is a collection of features and tools that provide you with insights about your workplace with the main goal of using those data-driven insights to improve productivity, employee well-being, as well as financial decisions. There are three types of dashboards, all giving different information to different audiences. The first one is the personal insights, which every user has access to, and this provides insights around your own productivity and well-being. This is really personal to you, only you can see it, and it's meant to give you a better employee experience. You might also have initiatives such as inviting you to book focus time, learning time, or even meditation sessions with the Headspace integration. Next up, we have the manager insights, which are insights for people who manage teams. You will see different dashboards and programs such as making sure you have frequent one-on-ones with your team members, ideas such as setting up a shared no meeting day with your team, as well as anonymized statistics under productivity. Lastly, we have organizational insights, which are for enterprise leaders who can have high-level insights around organizational resilience, employee engagement, organization agility, and more. Now that we have seen the theory, let's head over to the lab and check out Viva Insights in action. I'm now in the lab environment. Let me open up the browser here where I'm in Microsoft Teams inside the Viva Insights app and my user is a business leader that has access to everything. As you can see, first of all, on my home here, I have a little bit of motivation, good afternoon, one step at a time, as well as different cards from all the different dashboards, such as my organization. I also have some activities such as send praise to your colleagues, reflecting, how do you feel right now? I feel very good. I'm working on Pluralsight content, so of course I'm feeling amazing. I can also go and do mindfulness exercises, which are really from the integration with Headspace that Viva Insights has. As you can see, I have some guided meditations, as well as have focus music. If I want to have music in the back, I have a two hour long track that I can listen to. So that's pretty awesome. If we go back here, I also have other actions such as, hey, make sure you stay connected to Diego. Try to book some focus time next week. And it also, based on my calendar, gives me a specific time that I can block in my calendar. And as you can see, I have my no meetings day every two weeks on Thursdays. So I also have that plan that I have there. I have multiple tabs in Viva Insights from stay connected with my collaborators to make sure that I protect time. So let me close this tutorial here. The first time you open it, you have quite a lot of different in-context help that tell you what to do. And you can see right now, I already booked time for next Monday from 4.30 to 6.30. And it's saying, hey, do you want to also book more time from 6 to 7? You might also get different emails that invite you to book dedicated time for learning, for focus, for meditation, for breaks and things like that. And Viva Insights will automatically email you those recommendations as well based on your calendar, which is really amazing because it already looks at your calendar and gives you recommendations based on who you are. Another pretty cool feature is the virtual commute. A lot of us are now working from home, but before that we used to go to the office and while we're going to the office, we're maybe listening to our favorite podcast or listening to meditation. The virtual commute is kind of a dedicated space that you can add where you can keep doing those activities as part of your day. This way you keep those habits that really made you happy before listening to podcasts and things like that and different set of activities you can do. Okay, next up in my team here, because I'm a manager, I have insights about my team. So I can see, for example, my team over here, some actions. There's some members of my team that I don't actually have 
one-on-one -on -one scheduled with. And Viva Insights is reminding me, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with Michael, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with Ameha here. So I really have all of those recommendations to make me a better manager. I also have a section to reflect. You have had at least 30 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with six out of your 15 team members over the past four weeks. I can always go and explore more and then I will get more habits about my team. And as you can see here, you organized or were invited to 33 meetings with team members. And I can see different statistics that aim to make me a better manager. I also have group insights. So you can see right now, 30% of my group spends the majority of their time in large or long meetings. And I have a tip, support shortening meetings and inviting fewer people because being in a meeting with 20 people for one hour can be quite expensive for the organization. I can also see more detailed about coaching and development. You can see 20% of my group has less than 15 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with managers every week. So you have access to all of those different statistics about your team. Next up, if you are a leader, so think at the C-level, maybe even the HR team, I also have statistics about my organization. So you can see I have here, first of all, the outcomes around engagement, about foster innovation, effective managers. So if I click on effective managers, for example, 25% of the time managers spend in meetings is not well-structured for effective decision-making. And then I can really go in and see why. As you probably realized by now, as IT professionals, those statistics are really cool to have. But the real impact of Viva Insights is what will your leadership actually do with those numbers? And we will talk more when we talk specific how to deploy Viva Learning, but you already probably noticed that it's so important to have the HR team and the leadership on board this project in order to make it a success and do something with those numbers to improve employee productivity. Okay, something else that is amazing with Viva Insights, if you want to do a presentation and you are a leader, you want to show the improvement, you can actually download all of this as a PowerPoint. I've already done it here, so it gives you 35 slides. And as you can see, goes in depth into each one, what you can do better, different themes, and what each one of them can improve. So you can track progress and show your leadership the progress that you are making. Also, finally, one feature that is still in preview is the inspiration library, which are different articles from Harvard Business Review, Thrive, Microsoft, that you can use to guide you about the well-being of your organization, the culture, the impact, and those can be available to everyone in the organization. And you can just click on them and then read them directly without quitting Teams, which is a pretty awesome feature. It's still in preview, but it will probably soon make it into general availability. This is it for this quick demo of Viva Insights, a really amazing tool that gives you so much information about the data and how people work in the organization. This way you can make effective decisions and give really good coaching and suggestions to managers on how they can make their team better and to organizational leaders, give them actual numbers and what they can do to make the whole company better. This is it for this demo. Now let's head back over to the slides and talk about our next one, which is Viva Learning.